Okay, everyone. So now we are learning the data types. Data types signify that which type of data we are going to store into the variable. So here in Java, there are two types of data types. The first one is primitive, and second one is non-primitive. Primitive means intrinsic or built-in. So here we are talking about the primitive data types. There are data types which are available into the system library. So in the Java, there are some built-in data types which are already available that we can use. So they are called intrinsic or the primitive data types. Primitive data types or built-in data types. They are further classified into two categories. The first category is numeric data types. And second category is non-numeric data types. Whenever we are dealing with the numbers, just like 1, 2, 3, 100, 20, this way, they are called the numeric data types. These are further classified into two categories. The first one is integer data types. And second category is floating point data types. Here in the numeric, we know that we are having certain numbers. Let's say the number is 1, 2, 3 or maybe 173. So these are the numbers. Now integer, if we have the proper number, let's say it is 1, 2, 3 is the proper number. Floating point, let's say we are having some decimal value. Let's say 123.7. So this is the floating point. Integer data type are further classified into four types. The first one is byte. The second one is short. Third one is int. And fourth one is long. So if we are dealing with the integer, let's say the integer is let's say 173. So they can be of different different sizes. Means which type of size we want. So depending upon that we are having is the byte, short, int and long. So here, byte, that means it is of single one byte. Then we are having is the short. If you want the two byte of data, integer data, then we need short. If you want four byte of integer data, then we have the int. If you want eight byte of integer data, that is long. So depending upon the requirement means what is the size of integer we want to store. So based upon that, we take byte, short, int or long. Inside the floating point, that means we are having some decimal values. Here we are having the subcategories. The first one is float and second one is double. We know that the floating point data contain the decimal values. Just like if we are having the data which is 173.9. So here dot means we are having the decimal values. So what is the size? So depending upon size there are two ways. One is the float and second one is double. So here if we are talking about the four byte of floating point data then we need the float. If you want eight byte of floating point data then we need double. So that depends how much value you want to store. If the value is really big then we need the double. For the small value we need the float. Under the primitive, we are having the next type which is non-numeric data. Just like if we are going to store certain character, let's say A. So that is the non-numeric data. So non-numeric data is having further classification. The first one is character. And second one is boolean. So inside the non-numeric data type, we are having the first one is character. We know that whenever we are dealing with the characters, let's say we are storing A or maybe we are storing V. So these are the character and character is of two byte. The second one is Boolean. Whenever we are having the true or false. So for that we need the Boolean. Just like if we are applying a if condition where we want a true value or the false value. So just like we need the Boolean. So boolean can store only two values one is the true and second one is false and boolean data type is of one bit here we are using the capital b and small b capital b signify byte and small b signify bit the next data type is non primitive non primitive means they are the derived data types there are data types which are inbuilt. 
which are called primitive. Now using this primitive data type, we are going to create the non-primitive. That's why they are called derived. So under non-primitive data types, we are having the first one is class. The second one is interface. And third one is array. Non-primitive data types are derived from the primitive. So here we can create the class. Just like in the class, we can have data types, maybe integer, float. Similarly, we can create the interface. Interface are used for the multiple inheritance. And we can take the array, just like array of character. And for the character, we need the char. So here, this character is the part of primitive. So from that character, we are driving the array. So class interface array, these are the non-primitive data types and they are derived from the primitive. So here in Java, majorly we are having two types of data types. The first one is primitive, which are intrinsic or built-in. That means they are already into the system. So they are the built-in, means already available. And inside the primitive, we are having further two categories. The first one is numeric and second one is non-numeric. Numeric means we are dealing with the just like normal numbers. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 1, 7, 3. Non-numeric, they can be correct or maybe true or false. The numeric are further classified into integer and floating point. Integer are the normal integer values which don't contain any decimal value. But floating value contain the floating point just like the decimal value. In the integer, further we have classification which is byte short, int and long. So depending upon the size, they are classified. Just like if I want to store a integer that is of one byte. So for that we have the byte, maybe two byte that is of short, four byte we have int, then eight byte we are having is long. Then we are having is the floating point data type. Here we are dealing with the decimal values. It is further classified into the two categories. The first one is float and second one is double. So depending upon the size, they are classified. If you want to store the decimal value, which is of small size, so we need the four byte that is float. If it is of very large size, so eight byte that is double. Under primitive, we are having second category, which is the non-numeric. So just like we are having is a character value. So here non-numeric is classified into two parts. One is character and second one is boolean. So for storing the character, just like A, V, we have two bytes that is of character. And for storing the true false, we are having is the boolean and boolean is of one bit. The second category of data type is the non-primitive which are derived from the primitive. And they are having further categories just like class, interface and array. So these are derived from the primitive. So that is all about the data types.